Uh, my name is Bob Decker. I am the interim chairman tonight because Ron Bahanowitz is not available. Um, and one of our other members is not available also because of illness. Um, now, we have four members present. And in order to grant a variance or a special permit, um, it takes four-fifths vote of the board to pass it. Okay? So if one person were to vote against it, uh, you'd be denied your permit, and you might have a two-year waiting period. So if you want to proceed tonight, we can proceed, but you're doing it at your own risk. But I want to tell you that up front so that uh, uh, we don't start the hearing, we just postpone. So we can't start and then... Hey, Bob, excuse me. They have up until just before the vote to postpone or not. Uh, not to post... Once you start the hearing, Dick, I think we're... No, no you can go... They can do their whole presentation. Okay. And then say we want to postpone the vote. They can do that right up to that. All right, if that's, you know, as long as you understand that you're at risk, okay? okay. So um, why don't you introduce yourselves? Uh, you, you've met all the board members, right? And uh, you can introduce yourselves and put forward what you're uh, proposing to do and whatever. Read this for the, the Oh, okay. It's for our listening audience. The Zoning Board of Appeals of the Town of Deerfield will hold a public hearing on July 21 at 7 p.m. at room 107 of the town office, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, on the application of Jeffrey Gale Deerfield Academy for a variance from bylaws chapter 179, article 2, section 2300, from the 35-foot height to a height not to exceed 54 feet for Deerfield Academy's ice rink and sports facility to be located at 27 Albany Road and 4 Little Metal Road, map 61, lots 12 and 13. Okay, so we'll open the hearing. Hi, Hi I'm Jeff Galley. I'm with okay. Deerfield. And this is Nancy Freeman. She was Sasaki Architects. Um, as you just stated, we're in the design process of uh, a new field house and hockey rink. And in our application, we we said 54 feet, and actually the design's down to roughly 52 feet right now. Um, I know it's far away. We thought the screen would be closer. Uh, we can see it. So we just kind of put together a quick little summary. The zoning limit, our request was 54. Current design's 52 and six and three quarters. And then we pointed out a couple existing buildings that it's one complex. The existing East Gym is 50 feet, five and three quarters, and the natatorium is at 68, four and a half. Is the natatorium the one that's at the steeply? Yeah, we, we have a elevation for you. So the way this reads right here is the top is the East Gym on the left, and the natatorium is attached to that, so that's the steeple. And then on the right, our proposed new field house and rink. And then the lower part is the east gym with the west gym and then our field house complex. So we, you can see in relationship to the existing buildings. So, so you're saying that the great the grade areas are the existing buildings that are already exceed the height requirement? Yeah. So the, the grade is 163. You can't see it, but at the bottom, um, that 163 line travels all the way through. And then that's what we measured from. And that grade's consistent all the way through there. So this is one contiguous building. And the proposed project is sitting on the site where the ice rink is now. So that ring's coming out, and this is just taking its place on that same end of the overall complex. Now you say the existing ice rink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's on the opposite side of the, the other side of the street, isn't it? No, it's right no, it's where right the there. field house is right now. Right on the right-hand end of this whole complex. 
is where it is now. I'm a little confused. We can walk up there if you do. Yeah. West gym is connected to the East gym. Yeah. And the hockey ring right now, the existing ring, is connected to the West gym. Yeah. So all the way down to here. Yeah. So to make room for the new facility, the hockey ring gets demolished, and this new facility gets attached to the West gym. How close is that to any of the houses in the area? How close is that to any of the houses? Yes. It's not very close. To where? Any housing? The Do you mean campus? We're at the end yes. of Albany Road, um, the very far end of Albany Road. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, Phil Zay might be able to help me out. Uh, I think we're 1,100 feet or 1,200 feet away from any housing. Actually, I gotta maybe reduce that a little bit. Nine hundred feet, at least. Yeah. At least, it's at the very end of the street mm -hmm. um, through campus. Mm -hmm. Well, I took a ride down through there tonight, and I was trying to visualize where you were going to put this new building. Yeah. And I thought, where you were, you got a building down the end of the street that. There's an awful lot of work going on. Is yeah. that building the site where I that's where I thought you were going to be putting your building? Mm -hmm. Are you talking the baseball side of the street or the south side of the street? I'm talking on the north side of the street. No, it's on the south side. So where the rink is now. Okay. Behind the two dorms? Yeah. And next to the cemetery? All right. So where is Little Metal Road? Little Metal Road is the road that heads down behind that building. Has grown the science building, the sewer plant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the application the says Little Metal Road, doesn't it? Uh, 27 Albany Road and for Little Metal Road. Yeah. Well, Albany Road and Little Metal end right there. But the cemetery's over there someplace too, isn't it? It's at the end of Albany Road, and where Little Metal Road starts down the hill. It starts down the hill, it goes both ways, right? Little Metal Road just heads down the hill, down towards the north, towards just the sewer plant. But where we're talking about, the building you're talking about, it's being built on the south side. Yep, 27 Albany Road. Really. So, all right, stand it better. So you remove the old rink. And the new rink would be built in the same footprint, or does it extend further to the west? It is oriented perpendicular to the existing rink. It's in the same site, but it's, I can't say it's the exact same footprint because right. it's turned 90 degrees. But so it doesn't go? It doesn't extend east-west. It extends north-south at the west oh, end. It so. doesn't head further west, but we do change it from yeah, east-west layout to a north South Are there any floor plans or just that? We have a section. Just a section. So this is a section cut right through running east west. So right behind the elevation we're looking at. And you see the rink below, which is 20 feet clear if you can see the dimension on here. And then there's structure, and then there's the field house above. And then there's, there's other space adjoining that perpendicular swath to the existing West Jump, which is a lot lower. One thing Nancy didn't point out there, though, is the rink is now below grade. Mm -hmm. So our challenge was to find enough area for both of these facilities, and the way to do it was to stack it. So to have a competitive hockey rink, we need 20 feet clear from the ice to the structure. So she mentioned 20 feet. And then you have the structure, which is another five feet, the steel. 
and then the field house is on top of that. And the field house is a big volume space um, to make it, you know, meet the program we're trying to meet. Right. right. Many competitive field houses are 60 feet clear inside. This is averaging 35 feet clear because we're really trying to keep the height as low as possible and still fulfill the program needs. So I have a better understanding now after looking at the maps that, the, uh, that are here uh, as to where you're talking about. It's confusing because, uh, you know, 6112 uh, is basically the south side and it takes in most all the campus and then it wraps around yes. right. and down Little Meadow Road and that's probably why the description includes Little Meadow Road, okay? but. Uh, Okay. So basically, your argument deals with the fact because of the topographical problems uh, with the slope on the back end of the building on the well, south that's side. That's a good point. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, what this slide also shows you is we're dealing with the floodplain. So we have the 100 year flood and the 500 year flood. And that ice slab's at the 100-year flood, just above the 100-year flood. So that set our, the deepest point we could go. Um, if we could go deeper, we would have. Um, but we couldn't go below the 100-year flood plain. So that sets that bottom elevation, and everything went from there up. But, but you, because of the topographical area, you, you need uh, a higher building. Correct. To, to get, because of the flood information, et cetera. Right. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but that's yeah. that's the reason, right? So has anybody got any uh, questions in the audience? Anybody for or against it? You have some letters out there from the police department, fire department, et cetera, that should be read into the minutes. Um, from the selectman's office, please ensure that uh, fire chiefs and uh, AW are aware of the project. And there's one here from uh, uh, the, the uh, assessors. They have none. Uh, there's one here from the police chief. No issues. Uh, Chet Yasinski Jr. has uh, has no concerns with the the height variance for the construction of the field house. I think that's it. Building inspector didn't put his in writing. He's here. Oh, can we hear from the building inspector? The only comment I have to make is the original height variance was put into effect prior to sprinkler, sprinkler system requirements. And prior to us having a fire apparatus capable of exceeding 35 feet, that's why the fire department is now said it's not a problem because we have a ladder truck and so do other surrounding towns. So there's no concerns on any of that part to uh, the building itself. Thank you. Uh, Chris, any questions? Um, so the, you said that there's 20 foot clear, then five foot of steel. So any occupancy in the building would be below what elevation? Can you tell us that? Or is there going to be anybody, would there be catwalks up above that 35 feet? Is there any? Well, in the field house, there is an elevated jogging track that you can see in there, and that's sort of halfway up. Do you know and, what that elevation is? Uh, I can tell you. I think it's Mark in there, yeah. Elevated track from the floor of the field house. Right. Are you are you asking ground to right. so you want to go from the grade to that level? So grades call it 163 and a half. And then right now 167.6. And 
10 foot 8 above that, so 4, 4, 14, 15 feet is the track. No, 15 or 16 feet above the grade. Above the grade. Because the ice rink is below the grade. Right. Okay, so just to say again, this is the grade right here. And the other thing we're doing, we're proposing to do, is with the existing west end and the east end, the floor levels all line up. So we're trying to line up the floor levels as well. Because of cold and up and down. And yeah, we're also really trying to clarify the legibility of getting through the building. So there's, yeah, it's a little bit of a rabbit warren right now, if anyone's familiar. So we're, we're really cleaning it up with a low spine at the front so that if you have to enter the building in any kind of an emergency, it's a lot clearer as to where you're going and where you need to go. Can I look at it? So that's 15 feet off of the grade, I guess. So the 52 feet is the, is the total building height. Mm -hmm, right. Yes, not the inside. But, above, but the total above the natural grade is how much? 52 feet, just at the ridge. At the ridge. Inside, what are we, 40? 40, 42, 40. What do you mean, inside? We're 42. The main floor of the field house is? To the underside of the structure at 42 feet. No. Now, is the, is the building height measured from grade, Dick, or is it measured? Mean average grade. One of the important questions, Ben, is, and I don't know, this is not a any sleeping or dormitory arrangements in this building. This is an act, correct me if I'm wrong, this is an activity only building. Yeah. Not a dormitory, not a sleeping quarters. Yeah, there's no sleeping. Yes. Um, Phil Zayas for Deerfield. Um, when we met a couple of weeks ago, one question I didn't ask you was, what, what is the, the height of the building as you look at new construction from the south as opposed to the north? Because there's more of a facade on the south side than the north side, I take it. Because so, the grade drops yeah. away, yes. Yeah. So I guess I'm wondering about the height of the building from the south side. It's about another 30 feet down to where the flood level is and the grade mm -hmm. at the south side, outside. So 70. I, I had 75, 78 feet. So basically, you're saying that the depth of the whole building is 70 some odd feet? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-five and... Seventy-five. Twenty-five and then fifty-two. Linda, you got any questions? Ben, you have more questions? I'm so curious you don't have anything as an kind of elevated view, like a floor plan, not just the section of the elevation, something that shows the actual footprint. You want to see the... I have something. You want to see the floor plan of the, the building or the, the site plan? Of the, yeah, or site plan, something. Let's see. That's existing. Mm -hmm. That's, That's existing. Right, so you see the on the left-hand side the roof of the ice hockey rink? And then there's the new roof plan. Okay. So you can see now the main volume is running perpendicular. Here's a, we have a floor plan in here at each level, if you'd like this to see. This is the lowest level. This, this is, is the, the rink level. level. Would you like me to explain any of that? And now, sure. But you can kind of see also, see the gray on the right hand side? That's the existing facilities we're talking about. Squash court, the natatorium's all the way over on the right there. This is the squash court that exists, and the natatorium's way over there. And here is the ice hockey rink, and there's locker rooms. The green spaces in the middle are locker rooms that can't connect. 
And then this is the mid-level that um, is the seating area for the ice rink here. And um, there's a crew tank room and a, some meeting and group exercise rooms. This is where I mentioned earlier. So this is the, what we call the lower level of the existing facility. So the, I can't really see, but the corridors now will all line up at the same elevation. So that was a driver as well. We, we had the rink height and then the floor heights. And this is the main level. So this is the main entrance on that green space that exists between the storm and the storm. And this is what I was talking about, where it's connecting all the existing floor level, a very clean connecting corridor now. If you come in here, you can connect over to the west gym or the east gym. And through here, at the same level essentially as the field house, and the multi-purpose indoor tennis court, and a group exercise room. And then you can go down these main stairs to the level we just looked at, the mid-level, and down further to the ice hockey level. And then you asked about the track. So the, there is this elevator track that runs around inside the field house. And some mechanical space is what, what else is up there. That's it. And the materials? Will, they be, will the materials be the same as the rest of the building? Is that yeah, so the facade, the outside is a uh, brick. Um, uh, uh, cement board, tactile siding, and curt wall glass, and then foundations, concrete, um, block, a lot of block in the lower level, and then um, glass on the interior as well as sheetrock. Sprinkled, everything sprinkled. Um, Flooring is mostly uh, tile wood and then carpet. So the question is, uh, I think they've established that uh, they feel that this is necessary, the variance is necessary because of the topographical and the, and the, the space to, to, com to make everything gel and work. Do uh, uh, you understand it that way too? I'm not missing anything. So, does anybody have anything to say in against against this proposal? Okay. Now, are you, is this subject to anything like a planning board, or is there any? It's my understanding that they are <coughs> they have certain exemptions from the existing bylaws because it's an educational institution, and it's my understanding that we, we probably not appropriate for us to get into that. So, I'm not saying you can't ask the question, but I'm just saying that I understand it. Uh, some people think that we it's not appropriate for us to get into it. And there's some educational exemptions that, that exist. And, uh, no. Well, basically, uh, unless anybody has anything else to say, We'll close the hearing and uh, I'll give you the opportunity if you'd rather come back some other time and start again when there's five people here or what have you and then we can we can go from there but uh, you tell me what you want and then we will close the hearing and make a decision. I'd like to hear your decision. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, you. Have any questions, Linda? Uh, Chris? Well, that's with the, that's with the, it's like what the gut into the ground. Right, right. But it's still sticking that far out. I mean, what is over there? There's just fields over there to the south? Fields and, and the river floods there. Right. So there's never going to be anything down there. No, it's actually it lower than our existing auditorium. It's not as tall as that. Right, right. And that because that facade 
the grade falls away back there, so the natatorium is. I see, because it's longer. Yeah, so. the cell side really does slow down. So that's why we, we looked at it from the north elevation. That's the, the grade level. Sure. And I would point out the highest point in this elevation, you know, is just one point. It's not like this whole ridge is looking at you. So its impact on the views on the skyline, not that there's really anybody else there, is really minimal. My only question I think we might want to, if we choose to grant the variance, we might make it very clear that it can't be used for any dormitory or, uh, or camp or that sort of thing, where that you'd have a lot of uh, people in at the height level. Uh, but if you can think of anything else, you might want to require uh, maybe appropriate. Okay. Linda, somebody want to make a motion? I make a motion that we grant the variance to the Jeffrey Galley Deerfield Academy for the variance uh, from Article 2, Section 2300, 35 foot height, not to exceed 54 feet, and just for the use uh, described with no, with a special note that no uh, housing or uh, living space in the building. I, I'm perfectly comfortable with that. The only Your name, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Keith Fine. I'm the uh, associate head of school for operations at the academy. My only concern is if we were to have a dormitory emergency on campus, but that's and you know it might be we would put kids in there for like one night only, but that would be my only concern is that rule might prohibit us from having emergency operations that would be effective. Well, we. Do you want to amend the motion with, to, with the exception of a, of the state of emergency? Well, it's really the upper level we're worried about, right? Yeah. Well, so yeah, no it's really going to drive down the, the, the lower level where I am. Right, so no so occupancy. As long as that's clear, that, that's yeah. Yeah. No yeah. occupancy yeah. above. Yeah, on the upper level. Yeah. Track. Above the field house. Because yeah. yeah. that would make perfect sense. Thank, Thank you. Sense. On the case of the flood, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone second that? I'll second that. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Can you read the exact motion again? Yes, of course. Let me read it. Uh, to grant the variance to Jeffrey Galley Deerfield Academy for the variance from bylaw chapter 179, article 2, section 2300, from the 35 foot height to a height not to exceed 54 feet for Deerfield Academy Ice Rink and Sports Facility to be located at 27 Albany Road and 4 Little Meadow Road with one stipulation that there be no dormitories or, or uh, living quarters above the field house level. The existing field house level. Uh, the new field house level. Right. Right. The field house level. Okay. okay. So we're going to have a vote. All those in favor? Raise your hand. It appears there's four people who voted for it. I believe you got your variance. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. When are you guys planning to start? We're Where's hoping the... to start in March. Uh, we started infrastructure work that would have been done anyways um, this summer, but uh, the big project starts in uh, March. Good luck. Thank you. Sorry. You're very welcome. Like Sorry. I said, we were hoping to have a screen closer for you. Sorry to see you way back there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever want to stop by and ask questions, we'd be happy to answer them for you. Anytime. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I have just one question. When Deerfield Academy completes a project like this, is there any kind of like an opening so the public can come in or is it just a like campus deal? Well typically by when we open them, mm -hmm. that's when we open it by the start of school. I see. It's all about the kids so you know our end date will be September 
of 18. Mm. So there's really no time for an opening, uh, but maybe Keith. I, I think we have, we welcome public in or certain people yeah. to use the facilities. Yeah, are you more than welcome to? Okay. Go? No, I just think it's a nice gesture, yeah. and a lot of people might just like to see it yeah. that might not have ever a chance to do that on their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, we can certainly do that. The other thing, quite honestly, is that um, when our students aren't around, I try to make our facilities accessible to the local football and baseball teams mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. This will certainly be an enhancement to that because we'll have mm -hmm. more space to do that. So, anybody else got anything? I don't know of anything else coming before the board tonight. This is it. Anybody want to move to adjourn? I move to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor? I just need a vote. Uh, vote. Uh, yep. Yeah.